guys, it's Aiden Taps ASMR. And yes, I'm still using a headset because I still cannot find that little wire I need. Very annoying. So I wanted to do a special reading video. At the moment, I don't have my satanic bible at hand, but I thought... Yes, this is our narwhal onesie. Narwhal, narwhal, whatever. If you don't, if the sound quality isn't good, please someone let me know. Because I don't always know if it's going to be loud or not. And, yeah. <laughs> I have, um, also the bestest mom, but I already read that in the cast, so. I'm also chewing gum. I want more gum. I know that gum chewing has been requested in a couple of years ago, and I didn't do it, and I felt bad. So I'm trying to incorporate timestamps into my video. Also, if anybody would like to instruct me or help me out on how to make, um, like, how to make an intro for my video, but like, make it my own so I can monetize with ads let me know so let's get started next stop the future and it does have markings in this book just because it um I bought it off Amazon Where I get most of my regrets related books. All Growed Up, adapted by Kathy West, from the script by Kate Butelia, I hope I got that right, and Eric Kesmiro, illustrated by Jim Dirk. Pocket Books, Nickelodeon. Chucky, Tommy Pickles called out. Professor Spooky is going to put a boy into the future on TV. Wow, Tommy said. Wouldn't it be neat to go to the future? I don't know, Tommy said Chucky. What if the future got even more scary things than the right now? Tommy patted Chucky's shoulder. It wouldn't be scary, Chucky, because we'd be bigger -er. And smarterer, said Kimmy. But Chucky still looked worried. Angelica stomped in front of the TV. This is my new tapioca machine, she bragged. I got the show to do, and you diaper bags are going to be my applaudience. She pressed a button, and music began to play. Oh, beautiful, or spaceship eyes, Angelica belted out. Is it my imagination, or is Angelica getting louder, whispered Phil. I didn't think Angelica could be louder, Lil answered. Her purple mountains of majesty above the fruited rain, continued Angelica, 
knocking over everything in sight. Hey, Angelica, Tommy said. Can I try your... No, shouted Angelica. Dumb babies can't play with my stuff. And she huffed off. guys, Tommy said with a scowl. Angelica always plays with our new toys. You heard her, Tommy, Jackie warned. We're not supposed to play with it. Tommy picked up the microphone and punched a button. Hello, he said loudly. Testing one, two, la, 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 la. Hey, Angelica shouted. What do you think you're doing, bald brain? Run! Chucky cried. The baby scattered, dragging the karaoke machine along with them. Hiding in a cupboard nearby, the babies held on to the doorknob with all their might. Give me back my tapioca machine, Angelica shrieked as she tugged from the other side. What are we going to do? Gasped Chucky. I don't know, Tommy said. But I'm tired of Angelica bossing us around. She treats us like a bunch of babies. Well, we're not exactly grown up yet. Grown ups yet. Chucky pointed out. That's it, Tommy cried. We'll go to the future. We'll be so grown up, Angelica won't be able to boss us around. But we don't got the time machine like Professor Spooky, Phil said. Sure we do, Tommy cried. He found an old jump rope in the back of the cupboard and jabbed one end into a deflated basketball. Then he attached the other end to the karaoke machine. Suddenly the cupboard shook. A bright light flashed. Hang on, everybody, Tommy yelled. Babies tumbled out of the cupboard and into the future, but so did Angelica. Hand over my new Emeka CD, she shouted. But you said we could borrow it, Tommy said. Angelica snatched the CD from Tommy's hands. Too bad. Tommy's dad boogies, boogied his way into the kitchen, stopping to strike a pose. Oh, Stu, the memories are flooding back, Dee Dee gushed. Uh, Dad, I don't remember you wearing that. Bill pointed to the large gold Scorpio medallion hanging from his father's neck. Solid gold plated, Stu said proudly. I was wearing it the night I met your mum, he added. It's my good luck charm. I can't dance without it. We're going to dance in the dinosaurs at disco contest tomorrow night at the park, Dee Dee explained, as Stu twirled her around. As the kids scrambled into the school bus, Angelica hurried to sit with her best friend, Samantha. Hey, Angelica. Save Chucky and me a seat, Tommy shouted. But Angelica looked right past him as if she couldn't see him. Check out this cool necklace, Samantha said. Angelica stared in disbelief. Emika's necklace looked just like her uncle Stu's Scorpio medallion. I have the same one, Angelica blurted out, and I'm going to wear it to the Emika concert tomorrow night. Emika always chooses someone to sing on stage with her, Samantha said. You're sure to get picked wearing that necklace. Chucky leaned over his seat. He had a strange, crumpled look on his face. What's wrong, Tommy asked. 
Samantha almost snarled at me. Chucky whispered. I tried to snarl back, but my lips got stuck on my new braces, he sighed. I felt kind of sick, but in a good way. Wow, Tommy thought. Could, could Chucky be in love? At lunchtime, Chucky saw Samantha again. He patted down his hair. Chucky tried to smile, but it looked more like a weird grimace. Ew, Samantha gasped as she hurried past. So, Angelica whispered to Tommy. Your best friend has a crush on my best friend, she smiled slyly. I have a proposition to make. I'll tell Samantha what a great guy Chucky is. If you get me uncle's stew Scorpio necklace. Deal? Tommy watched Chucky dash off to a corner to bury his face in his hands. Deal, Tommy groaned. Tommy knew his dad wouldn't let him borrow the necklace, so he came up with another plan. He'd make a fake. Tommy took some gold foil and wrapped it around a dog biscuit. Then he traced a Scorpio design on top. Angelica will get the real one, he told Dill. Dad will get the fake. He'll be really mad if he finds out, Dill warned. I know, Tommy said, but I have to do this for Chucky. Tommy sneaked into his dad's room. He took the real gold necklace and left the fake one in its place. Then he tiptoed out. Spike awoke with a start. He smelt his favorite treat. Tasty pooch snacks. He sniffed high and low and then he ate the fake necklace in one big gulp. The next morning, Tommy put the real necklace on the kitchen table while he rooted around for his reptile cereal. Spike spotted the necklace, grabbed it in his mouth, and ran outside. The garden was littered with bits of gold foil. Oh no, look, Tommy moaned. Spike must have eaten the fake necklace and thought the real one was a dog treat too. How will I dance without my lucky charm, Stu cried, when Tommy told him what had happened. Why would you take it without asking, Dee Dee asked. Angelica had just come in. She shot Tommy a warning look. I, uh, wanted to enter the America concert, so she invited me to sing on stage, Tommy fibbed. You're grounded, Stu said. You'll have to miss the concert, Dee Dee said with a sigh. I can't believe you're grounded, Kimmy said. What a bummer, said Phil, as he pulled something out of the sand. Cool, a reptar pop. He popped it into his mouth. Circa 2001, I'd say. Just then, Sparks started digging around in the sandbox. Hey, what's this, Lil said, and pulled out. My dad's necklace, Tommy cried but his parents were already on their way to the dance contest. Tommy and his friends hopped on their bikes and sped off. Tommy hoped it wasn't too late to get his dad's lucky charm to him, but on the way through the park, Angelica spotted Tommy. the necklace, Angelica cried as she lunged for it. You can't have it, Tommy said. If Samantha can't see what a great guy Chucky is without you telling her, she doesn't deserve him. Come on, Angelica begged. Just let me wear it for a minute. Not until you start telling the truth, Tommy demanded. 
What's he doing with your necklace? Samantha asked. Angelica locked eyes with Tommy inside. He's my cousin, she admitted. It's his dad's necklace. He was just going to let me borrow it. Oh, I see, Samantha said. Then she noticed Chuckley. He smiled a great big silver with a great big, he smiled a great big silver grin. Don't I know you? she asked. You should, Angelica blurted. Samantha Shane, meet Chucky. I mean, Charles Finster. Samantha smiled. Braces were the worst, she said. You know, you're going to be really cute when your braces come off. Come on. Let's all go sit together. Nah, I'll see you guys later, Angelica said. What? Samantha exclaimed. And Miss Emika? Angelica shrugged. I gotta take care of something. By the time Tommy, Dill, and Angelica got to the Dinosaurs of Disco Contest, Stu and Dee Dee were on the dance floor. Stu was bumping and swiveling in all the wrong places. Okay, Dill, Angelica said as she handed him the necklace. Make this one count. Dill threw the necklace toward his dad. Astonished, Stu caught it, and his rhythm returned. Stu and Dee Dee began to dance like the king and queen of the disco. The kids made it back to the concert just in time for the last song. I'm gonna need a little help for this next one, Emika shouted. The spotlight circled the crowd and then stopped on Tommy. Pick me too, Angelica shouted. Please, please, I'm his cousin and his agent. They ran up onto the stage together to sing with their favorite star. Angelica grabbed the mic. Tommy tugged back. It's still my turn. You're forgetting who's the star in the family, Angelica said. While they wrestled over the mic, a photographer took their picture and flash. Tommy and his friends tumbled out of the pickles and his cupboard. Hey, you broke my tapioca machine, Angelica shouted. You dumb babies, better keep your mitts off my stuff for the next bazillion years. Look on the bright side, Tommy told his friends. Only ten more years until Angelica's nice to us. I love this book so much. I loved this episode so much. I just wanted to say that. It's a really good episode. I'm going to be doing a lot more reading story time videos. And right after this one, there should be a satanic video coming up. I know most of you guys on my channel like me for my ASMR satanic Bible reading videos. But... When I really started my ASMR channel, I wanted it to be more than just what it was. And my most viewed video does happen to be Satanic. Um, one of my first Satanic Bible reading videos, I was in a onesie. And that's, I think, probably one of the reasons I got so many. I'm not sure, but um, just to let you guys know, I'm not a Satanist. I It's more of a philosophy than anything for me. I am spiritual. I know stuff exists out there. I just... I know I got zits. One right here, but it's going away. I am spiritual, and I know stuff exists, and I know things like are out there. I know the paranormal exists. I've seen shadow people and ghosts. I am clairvoyant and an empath, so I've witnessed them. I'm not a loony, I think, like my meds for other things, but I know I can differentiate between reality and what's not. And I can also tell when it's a spirit and when it's not. 
I got like way off topic. I'm sorry. Anyway, until I can find my plug-in for my Yeti microphone, I'm just gonna have to deal with my headset. Ooh. But I want my Yeti microphone back because I don't need to do you now broadcast again. And it's like, I miss it so much. Anyway, um, I have a Twitter now. It's the same as my YouTube, Aiden Taps ASMR. My Instagram is Aiden.ASMR for ASMR Instagram mini shorts. And sorry if I'm looking like in a billion places. My um, main Instagram, which is just selfies, is Be Happy Being You which is also my You Now channel. If you guys have You Now, you can find me on it. It's Be Happy Being You. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash ASMR. I wanted to do Aiden Tops ASMR for um, YouTube, for Instagram, but it just didn't sit right. So I did Aiden.ASMR. Anyway, this is just a short little video gonna head off and start recording the satanic video or I'm gonna find that wire and then do it that would be the best because as much as I love my headset which I also love tapping on I do miss my Yeti microphone usage so anyway I'm heading off now please don't forget to subscribe and invite your friends I do awesome content or at least I try to Aiden Tops ASMR is out.